Hi Libra, this will happen in the next 48 hours for June the 9th through June the 10th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for June the 9th through June the 10th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for June the 9th through June the 10th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for June the 9th through June the 10th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Libra. Libra, these are your cards, honey. So, Libra, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Libra, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Libra. Ten of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation here or there's blocked communication. Now, Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're stuck when it comes to your money, your abundance here. You can tell me that you're stuck on whether or not you want to go into commitment here. Or you're telling me that things are ending and you're blocking. Libra, you have the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the air element, the fire element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Libra, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Libra. Clarify the magician for Libra. Clarify the magician for Libra. It is clarified with the seven of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that your standoff is shunning and setting boundaries, or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. You know, it could be that you're stuck when it comes to maybe some type of commitment, and maybe you're trying to explain here. Or you're standoffish with this person and blocking them and ending things. Libra, you have the chariots. 
could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So Libra could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Libra. Clarify the chariot for Libra. Clarify the chariot for Libra. It is clarified with the three of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. You know, Libra, are you feeling stuck because you're waiting for your ships to come in here before you make some type of move? Maybe you're wanting to make this move, but you're having to wait because you're stuck waiting on these coins. It's the same difference. Or you're telling me that you're wanting to like actually travel here. Both these cards speak of travel or some type of um, expansion here. Libra, you have the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Libra, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the nine of swords for Libra. Clarify the nine of swords for Libra. Clarify the nine of swords for Libra. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So Libra could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Pisces. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Libra. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Libra. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Libra, it is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Libra could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Libra, clarify the King of Pentacles. For Libra, it is clarified with the Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Now Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, maybe using your intuition or searching your emotions here concerning you guys' commitment, okay? Your commitment. And maybe you're kind of closed off and blocked off to this person right now. Maybe you just feel like you're ready to move on a move out or move away some type of move here 
Libra, you could also tell me that you're all up in your head about your financial stability, you know? Maybe you're kind of keeping it close to your chest here about these coins or something that you're expecting, or you're just being stingy with the coins, holding on to your coins, saving your money here. Libra, you have the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there's a third party. Clarify the Three of Cups for Libra. Clarify the Three of Cups for Libra. Clarify the Three of Cups for Libra. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Libra, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Libra, listen, could be dealing with a Taurus. You can tell me that you guys are in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. Clarify the Hierophant for Libra. It is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama is taking place here. You know, Libra, you could be dealing with some type of institution, organization, governmental agency where you're waiting on having just cause to celebrate because it seems like it's a stuck situation or a waiting situation, maybe dealing with your coins. It's coming in really slow here and it has you conflicted within about your coins here, Libra. However, Libra, you can tell me that in you guys' already established commitment, you guys had this conflict, disagreement, argument, drama, and you went stagnant here. But maybe thinking about reuniting. However, you can tell me that in you guys' already established commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics, that there was some type of competition or drama that took place. You guys went stagnant because there was a third party here. Libra, you could also tell me that you're conflicted with then about going into some type of commitment here. Like, don't rush me. I'm kind of stuck on whether I want to go into commitment or not. You know, I, I just want to wait. Don't rush. Don't move too fast here. Maybe kind of just holding, you know, just kind of closed off to yourself thinking about it, but it's stressing you. Libra, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for June the 9th through June the 10th, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.